very much. Hilary Benn. Thank you very much indeed, Mr Deputy Speaker. There is not a single one of us in this House who would not do anything that could be done to bring the slaughter in Ukraine to an end, and there's not a single one of us in this House who does not feel a certain helplessness mm. because we are not able to make that happen now, particularly when we think of the children. And that makes it all the more important we do everything else that we can to support the people of Ukraine in their hour of need, to continue supplying the weapons. Don't tell us how you're doing it, just carry on. <laughs> the sanctions must be tough, but they must remain in place. We must isolate Putin for the pariah he has now become. And I say that because the only sure way to remove this risk in the long term, it, and the risk that Russia presents, not just to Ukraine, but the rest of Europe, is for there to be a change of leadership in Russia. Now, it may not happen today, it may not happen in the next two years, but at some point, the Russian people will say, why are we experiencing all of these hardships for the sake of a war with our brothers and sisters in Ukraine, the purpose of which we do not understand. And thirdly, collect the evidence for the ICC. It is essential to bear witness to the crimes that are being committed, and we can see them thanks to the courage of President Zelensky. He has been inspirational, and any puppet that Putin installs in Kiev will have no credibility. And also thanks to the journalists who stood by their posts and they file and they broadcast to counter the lies and disinformation that are as much a part of this war as the rockets that Russia is raining upon the people of Ukraine. And fourthly, for those who are streaming across the border, it is all of our responsibility to offer them a warm welcome. But we must also think about what this means for the future, the point we have just heard made because the world we thought we understood has been turned upside down. Now that President Putin has invaded Ukraine, who is to say with any confidence that he would not be prepared to do the same to the other countries that surround him? Now, we've made a pledge to those that have joined NATO that an attack on one is an attack on all, and we will have to reinforce their defences with our presence to make clear to Russia that this is a line they do not cross. We need to invest more in military capability to be ready for the conflicts of the future. Look at the announcement that Chancellor Scholz made on Sunday that would have been unthinkable mm -hmm. even a month ago. We must rebuild our alliances with the European Union. This is no time to be falling out over fish or customs procedures, because whether a country is in or out of the European Union, we are all Europeans, we face this threat together, and we must be ready to make peace together when one day there is a change of the leadership in Russia. And finally, Mr Deputy Speaker, what we are witnessing is an attack on the values that bind us together yeah. as democratic countries. The freedom to say what we think, the power to choose by whom we are governed, and the ability to make those decisions free from the fear of violence at the hands of others. And the hope because what we have to do is to offer hope that by these means we can build a better and more peaceful word to hand on to our children and the children of Ukraine who are uppermost in our thoughts today and in every day that is to come. Hear, hear.